everyone, Izzy from Endless RV, and I am here once again with Keith from Intech. We're at the 2021 Hershey RV Show, and we have a great RV for you. The 2022 Intech Soul Dawn with the Rover Package. Keith's gonna give you the full walkthrough inside and outside. Stick around. All right, so this is our Soul Dawn. This is the smallest unit in our Soul lineup. We've got three models. You guys have seen the Horizon before with us, which is a 19-footer. This goes down to 16-foot. So one neat thing about the Dawn is it only weighs about 26 to 2,700 pounds, depending on how you equip it. And it's towable by most of your mid-size SUVs. So if you have a 3,500-pound tow rating on your vehicle, you can tow the Soul Dawn. Right here off the front, again, you're gonna notice it maintains our tilt forward design that we do on all of our Soul product. And what that is, we angle this cap forward for you, giving you a lot extra interior space. So while this is only a 16 footer, when we jump inside, you're gonna see that you still have a very open feel in this compact trailer. Another neat styling aspect of the Soul product is you're always gonna have this big windshield here across the front. Great styling on the exterior, great view from the inside. But one neat thing about it is this is a three-ply laminated glass. So the exact same piece of glass that gets put in a motorhome or a car windshield is what we're using here on the front. So it can hold up to rocks and everything hitting it. If you get a chip, it is able to be patched or sealed. Uh, another neat thing that we do is we provide you with a windshield cover. So you'll see this channel across the top here and snaps around it. It's something you can place on when you're traveling down the road and prevent anything from hitting the windshield. So one thing that really stands about Intech, stands out about Intech above all other trailer manufacturers is gonna be the construction. And we did a video at the factory, we'll link it above, but Keith, just tell us a little bit about why you're different. So our construction process is a lot different than most. First off, it's gonna be an all aluminum build. So this is an aluminum chassis, and then you have an aluminum cage that is welded on top of that chassis. And that's pretty unique, because most units are built with a steel chassis, usually purchased from somebody else, and then you have walls that are screwed and stapled together. So you have a lot of pieces trying to move independently of one another, where here you have a unibody construction, much more solid than a typical RV design. Yeah, and if you go on, on the forums, you know, these trailers, Intech in general, are so popular and in such demand because people know what a good product is and they're holding up to the you know, test of time and they're really holding their value. So I see on here you have the power tongue jack which is pretty awesome for a higher end uh, mm -hmm. trailer. Now, what kind of propane tanks do you have on here? So one neat thing we're able to do with this cap design is we seal them back here behind or underneath the cap. So this little cover pops up, comes standard with a single 20 pound propane tank, and then you can option in a double as well. Which that, I mean, the 20 pound, you can swap that out anywhere, which is great. You can, and you don't have a lot of systems pulling from it. You know, you're gonna have a three-way fridge inside, you're gonna have a furnace, and then you're gonna have your, uh, your cooktop inside pulling from that program. And then one other thing I saw, you have like a little accessory rack on here, which is pretty cool, and I see another one on the roof. Yeah, so this is a Rover package, and a Rover package, what you're gonna get is some off-road features and also a little more storage. So this rack here has little strap tie-down locations on it, so you could attach a generator or a bin to carry some extra stuff with you. And then as you mentioned, this one has the roof rack option on it as well, so if you need an additional spot for a kayak or a paddle board, you have a place for it to go. Awesome. All right, so as we mentioned, this unit does have the Rover package. And what that gives you, you see a lot of that on the side of the unit. You are going to have an off-road tire, so you go up to a 235-75 tire on there. You're also going to get additional ground clearance. So this thing is up another three and a half inches from what the base model would be. You come around the back side, you're going to see there's a tube-style bumper on it as well. That's as part of your Rover package that you get. And then as you move on up, you're going to notice these are always prepped for a camera. So right there you have a plate, you remove that, the wiring's there for a backup camera for you. As you move to the off-door side of the camper, you're gonna have some features like a uh, small shower with a spray nozzle on it right there. You're also gonna find your, your uh, drain valves and everything on this side. Over here, you're also gonna have your shore power plug-in. Uh, you do have a cable inlet, so if you got cable at the campground you're at, you can plug that, it's fed directly to the TV. And then a ZAMP plug. And so if you get one of the briefcase solar systems, that is wired directly to your battery from the factory. Also on this side, you're gonna notice you have your vents for your refrigerator. As I mentioned, that's a three-way refrigerator, so it runs off propane, it runs off your shore power, or it can run off your battery. Here's gonna be your water fill. You'll have a spot to fill your tank, which on this particular unit, you're gonna have a 30-gallon fresh water tank, or you can hook up to your city water if city water is available to you. Also, you'll see your water heater. That's a six gallon water heater. It's electric or gas. So depending if you're boondocking or you're hooked up to power, you can run that either way. And then this is just a vent for your battery. 
feeds into the battery compartment, then goes out the bottom of the unit to keep the fumes and everything from building. But before we move any further, this video is sponsored by WearSafe GPS. We use it on our motorhome. WearSafe is the most affordable, real-time GPS tracker on the market. You can set up custom geofences. You can track where your asset, namely your RV, can be in real time from a simple to set up mobile app. You can use it for your motorcycles, RVs, boats, whatever you want to use. Listen, if your coach is out and you don't think it's gonna get stolen, but it could be at servicing, it could be somewhere parked, and all of a sudden it's gone, at least you have a way to track it. We did a video on the complete details. We're gonna link it above. But below, if you use the discount code ENDLESS10, you'll get 10% off the total purchase of WearSafe GPS. Don't fall victim, protect your asset. Simplest way, WearSafe GPS tracker. So when you see that big windshield on the outside, it's kind of hard to appreciate it until you go inside. So we're gonna take it inside, and you're gonna see how this small unit actually really opens up when you're inside. So we're in the lounge area here, and you know the difference between this one and some of the longer ones like the Terra is you don't have the bedroom, but you, you make such useful space out of the front. Just let us know how all this works. Yeah, so you get great room in the front of the Dawn. It's actually the largest dinette we make out of any unit, even though it's our smallest camper that we build uh, in the sole lineup. So plenty of room, lots of, lots of seating space, but then this is gonna break down into your bed as well in the nighttime. So we set it up with a two filler cushion system, there's a standard filler cushion that basically comes out to where the table leg is at. So you can take off these back cushions and you can have it's about a 80 by almost 46 inch bed. So good space. You could make that work if you didn't want to tear down your table. Or if you want to take the table down, you get the additional filler cushion and now you have a bed that's over a queen size, closer to a king size bed. So I was just telling MJ, we've been in a bunch of class B's and of course that's a completely different, you know, type of RV, but this has so much space in it. Like you could probably fit six, seven people here for dinner, right? And then once they're done, they go back to their campsite and you have a full queen size bed in here, which is pretty awesome for such a small package. Yeah, a lot of space and a little camper. So you'll also see we pack a lot of storage in the little camper. As you look across the uppers, that's our main spot to take advantage of for you. So you're gonna have cubbies, you're gonna have little cabinet doors that open. This is actually a pretty deep storage because it goes all the way out into the eyebrow of that front cap there on the camper. And then as you come over to the side here, you're gonna see that we have a microwave refrigerator tower area. So that's a 3.7 cubic foot refrigerator and then a one cubic foot microwave. So good space for a small camper right there. All right, so then over on this side, right next to your dinette, you're gonna have a little entertainment area. You have a TV, this comes out on a swivel. So that way you can point it to where you're sitting over there in the dinette. Also underneath here, you have a nice little storage compartment. So this is a great pantry storage for food and items that you're bringing along. Over to our other side, you're gonna have your wet bath. So this maintains the same footprint as what we have in our sole wet bath. So it's very good sized. What you lose a little bit more of is the headroom because now we're in the back end of the trailer. So this will be about five foot, eight inches tall on the interior. So it does get a little bit shorter on that end, but still a lot of room to move around. It's got our all aluminum skinned walls on the inside. So very easy to clean like the others. And then this door, same as the other soles, it's, you don't have to use a curtain. This is actually an exterior door that completely seals off and you don't have to worry about water or anything ending up out into the floor of the camper. All right, so your kitchen area, you're gonna have a uh, two burner cooktop here. We're gonna have a nice deep farmhouse sink that we use on all of our product. You're also gonna have a rollover sink cover that we give you that goes with this here. So then they can make all of this uh, countertop space, prep space for you if you need it. Up top, you're gonna have access to your stereo. That's a four speaker system, two in the back, two in the front. And then that is wired into your TV too. So your TV will run through your sound system. Full bank of drawers down below. So again, really good storage for a small camper. And then a nice wide open compartment down here where you can add things like trash cans or other items. For your air conditioner on this, you're gonna have a 13.5 BTU AC. For your heat, you're gonna have a 16,000 BTU furnace. Both plenty to keep this unit cool or warm depending on what the temperatures are outside. And then insulation wise, it's a bubble foil insulation that we do on all of our product. It gives you about an R6, R7 value, so you'll be able to stay comfortable. All right, so the big question everybody's gonna to wanna to know, how much does something like this cost? 
Stolvitz RV, who's the authorized dealer for you guys in this area. 35775 is what they're asking for this unit. If anybody wants information, more information on any of your units, what's the best way to find out that info? Uh, if they jump on our website at intech.com, you can see all kinds of additional information on the product. We also have a like sales service support page where you can reach out, ask questions, find your local dealer, and all those good things. Yeah, guys, so if you're interested in an Intech, these RVs are just getting so many great Raven reviews out there. Check it out. Our other video also in the comments below. Let us know, do you have an Intech? What's been your experience, or are you looking to get one? And for myself, MJ, and Keith, we thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you on the road.